to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. Every moment of every day, our God is waiting to save. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. Your hearty welcome to each one of you. Really warm welcome. Nice that we are as one family praying around the altar, asking the Lord to come into our lives, and us committing our lives to the Lord. We are on our way our desert experience of 40 days, preparing for the resurrection, the passion and resurrection of our Lord. Today is the Feast of St. Polycarp. Happy Feast to the Polycarps. Uh, not a very usual name, but I know some Polycarps, surely. Uh, and let's begin the sacrifice now, asking God's forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response shall be, The Lord rescues them in all their distress. Can you repeat? The Lord rescues them in all their distress. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Our response, the Lord rescues them in all their distress. Look toward him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. Our response, the Lord rescues them in all their distress. The Lord turns his eyes to the just, and his ears are open to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. Our response, the Lord rescues them in all their distress. When the just cry out, the Lord hears, 
and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Our response, the Lord rescues them in all their distress. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, in the season of Lent, we are reminded, and the Holy Father in his message to Lent also reminded us, once again, the three traditional uh, with the forms of observing Lent. Prayer, penance, and charity. To pray more, to do some penance, and to be more generous in our works of charity. And I was saying, right through Lent, these 40 days, we must do that. And the scriptures show us more and more how we can come to the Lord. Today's readings, both of them from Isaiah and this one from Matthew, are concerned with prayer, teaching us how to pray. Very directly, Jesus uh, tells the apostles how they should pray. Do not uh, just talk and talk and talk and uh, don't add up empty phrases. Uh, don't be too talkative in the sense that don't think that by saying many, many, many long prayers or uh, you are pleasing God, you are really talking. You know, prayer is a communication with God, talking to God, even just feeling His presence. Uh, some of the saints just, there was, there was a non-verbal non communication, uh, beyond even non-verbal communication, just a communion of spirits where they just felt the presence of God and were able to, uh, that was the communion they had with God, it was real communion with God. But here, he's beginning his teachings to the apostles of how to pray. And he teaches them the Our Father. The very same words that we say today in our own prayers. And we'll say it during Mass, just before communion once again, typical prayer. In the Oriental churches, I think in the, Malankara Church, when I've attended Mass, concelebrated Mass with the bishops there, uh, it, the Our Father said several times, that I think three times during the Mass, sometimes it comes so often. That's the perfect prayer. And, uh, and I want you to notice that there are, in the, just we could go on and on and on on the Our Father. So many books have been written, doctoral dissertation, on every word of this. But I just to give you a quick uh, look at it. The first part is concentrating on God. 
of our Father who art in heaven, addressing him. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On, and then, uh, hallowed be thy name, just praising him, in pray, hoping on praying that or wishing that his kingdom should come and we, in a way, commit ourselves to work for that. And then uh, asking that his uh, will be done right through the world on earth as it is in heaven. That's all concentrated on God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. The second part is about ourselves. After looking at God, then we look at ourselves. I said, give us today our daily bread, our needs. Forgive us our sins and lead us not into temptation. Again, three uh, sort of requests, three prayers, which uh, once again are uh, looking at ourselves. Daily bread, because we also think of the Eucharist, but it's really everybody could say this prayer. Daily bread, not just bread, it's all the necessities of life. Give us whatever we need for the present. Health, peace, what we need for the present, all the material things we need for the present, home, uh, uh, food, drink, and other necessities, clothing. Uh, give us today our daily bread. That's our daily bread. What sustains us, whatever sustains us. Let our life carry on. It's looking to the present. And forgive us our sins. We, we sometimes strayed from you. We have uh, not looked at you. We've disobeyed your commandments. Forgive them. And lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into test. The word temptation is, uh, it means uh, assist us when we are in difficulty. Keep us away from, uh, take away the obstacles that, help, that come in our way of coming to you, the future. Have you noticed that we are thinking of the present? Give us our daily bread. Looking at the past, forgive us our sins. And looking at the future. Let us not go into any difficulty, temptation. Let us come straight, single-minded to you. That's the whole meaning of the Our Father. And we could say it any time. We say it in the rosary, we say it at Mass, we say it in our private prayer. And when you have a minute to spare, uh, we know it by heart. And that's why uh, sort of we don't get the sense of each of these invocations. But think of each of them and uh, maybe just one Say the whole prayer, but think of one of these invocations and concentrate. We'll get the meaning and be able to pray more. The first reading is about scripture. God says in Isaiah, it says, The word of God comes down, will always bear fruit. And when we read the word of God again, it's again prayer, additional prayer, which we try to do in Lent, it always will have some fruit in our heart. Once again, but you must understand what you're saying. Don't read it just uh, without your mind on the, the words. That is additional prayer. So, scriptures and talking to God. Jesus is teaching us how we could celebrate Lent. I was saying today is a feast of Polycarp. Polycarp was a disciple of Saint John, the evangelist. So he was the very second generation Christians. First generation were the apostle disciples. The very next generation. He didn't see our Lord personally, but he met John and was uh, he had many disciples himself of great saints and he was known he wrote a very beautiful letter to the philippians which we have in our breviary and that bears reading but uh, the greatest thing was that he was very well known for his catechesis he taught the people a lot he was born in smyrna uh, a town then in greece now it's in turkey he was made bishop of smyrna and died today is the anniversary of his death uh, on the in the year 155 uh, when you read about it it's it's so cruel he was burnt alive at the age of 86 uh, terrible that to be burnt alive but they say he was so again shows us the the the, the closeness to god he felt in prayer so when he was, they were taking him he was joking with these executioners who were coming to kill him they, they were like friends walking and then they finally tied him and they were going to nail him and he says don't nail me don't uh, I, I am. Uh, I have no intention of running away, and uh, I, the Lord has given me strength to be uh, burnt alive. Uh, you think He's not going to? He's going to allow me the last minute to run away? This is, uh, and so they really did not nail him uh, to the place. Said, they just tied him, and he died singing hymns. What an example! 
of closeness to God. God bless you, all of you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through goodness with this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased, receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins, cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance that you've given us, that it may bring us eternal life. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given us your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disorder, disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are eternally enduring. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, so without end we acclaim. <laughs> fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Polycarp, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray today. The very words we heard in the Gospel, Jesus teaching us to say, let's say the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin, safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope in coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O oh Jesus, living in Mary, come 
and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways O divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility an abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Lord Jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the Bishop St. Polycarp a company, a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession and strengthen by the food that we have received, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Special prayer on Lent. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation, in tribulation, their power to endure, and in peril, their protection. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass Senate, let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks be to God. And uh, thank you very much for participating. Happy Feast to the Polycups. And I want to also tell you, uh, be cautious. Cases are increasing in Maharashtra, in our own city of Mumbai. So please uh, wear your masks social distancing, sanitization of hands. I wear the mask, uh, although I don't, uh, on Sunday, but Sunday, just to give an example, we all must, must wear the mask to protect ourselves and protect your families also. God bless you. Keep well. We'll pray for each other. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is my prayer. Joys and
Strike at the root of pain.